Hey everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching. This is like seriously this easiest recipe ever. It's not even a recipe. But every time I say I'm not going to film something because it's so easy, you guys always say, please film it because you need easy recipes. Um, we're going to a game night tonight, so I thought I'd make my sweet and sour meatballs. This is so good. Um, you could do it for a party or for like anywhere that they're going to have finger foods or you could do it as a dinner and like serve this over rice. It's really good. When I do it for a party, I make sure to get the bite-sized meatballs, but you could use whatever kind you wanted. You could use turkey ones, regular ones, homemade, however you want to do it. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how I put this together. It is three ingredients. So you're going to need um, two and a half cups of grape jelly. Um, this is probably closer to three cups so I'll measure it out but two and a half cups of this one jar of chili sauce I just use the great value it turns out fine and then I'm dropping stuff um 32 ounces of meatballs now this is 60 ounces so I'm going to use about half of that um, so what I like to do is I like to line it with a slow cooker liner. You do not have to do this. You can just spray it with some cooking spray. But since we're going to be at a party, it's going to be on. Sometimes these get really sticky. So I have a liner. You can buy these like with the uh, saran wrap and stuff at the grocery store. And the trick is to keep these things from sticking is you put a little bit of water in the bottom before you add this. Maybe like a cup of water. Then you add the liner and it will not stick. I still think I'm gonna spray just a little bit on the inside, put my meatballs in, and then we're gonna mix up the sauce in like a little measuring cup and pour it on top and let it go for three to five hours on low, just until basically you're just heating it up. It's already, everything's already cooked. So I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all back in here and I just serve it with some toothpicks and it's so delicious. So let's get it all mixed up. Tonight we're running on the right track to kind of stir it up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely mixed up because the, the jelly will kind of melt and dissolve. But I'm just going to stick a lid on this and let it go on low for, like I said, three to five hours just until it gets hot and I'll show you what it looks like. This is a delicious recipe. I ended up using um, pretty much the whole container of this grape jelly it was about about the right amount so I'm let this go and I'll see you guys back when it is nice and ready hey guys so it has been about three and a half to four hours and um we're gonna head to church and this will just continue cooking as we like set up and stuff at church I'll plug it in but it's pretty much ready I've chased the one there they're really really good um and it'll just keep absorbing some of the sauce this is very saucy um so it's really good over like rice or something like that because the sauce is really delicious. So this is my very easy sweet and sour meatballs. If you try it, let me know. They're very, very good. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. Lucy's giving it a thumbs up. We will see you guys later. Bye. Tonight we're running on the right track.